Welcome to another edition of the Destiny Drawing Board featuring the Sniper Rifle Closing Time. This is another weapon from the E3 gameplay, formerly mistaken as, I think, Duct Tape Fixes Everything and many other incorrect names. So this gun was owned by an individual in a group of survivalists. It wasn't just one of many weapons of its kind, it's very unique. The most interesting thing about this gun is that it's made up of many materials, the metal barrel, wood and possibly plastic stock, even some gilly net on the top of the scope. They quote, really wanted to push the new shader system with this weapon to show the strength of the rendering in the new engine for Destiny, and it certainly shows. You can really tell how long this gun has been in operation. There's a lot of paint scratches, obviously the tape on the gun shows the wear and tear as well. The barrel of the gun is interesting, it's very different from what you would normally see on a gun. Also, it has a bipod on the gun. We don't know if it's just for show or if we'll actually be able to use bipods in the game. The scope looks cool as well, just a hexagonal red eye, but for some reason it sticks out to me. The gun has a stealthy appearance with the greens and the browns and the ghillie on top of the scope, but the scope being red gives the gun a really interesting contrast. Although in this image, it's not shown. Keep in mind that these are work in progress images and are subject to change at any time. Lastly, there's this symbol on the stock of the gun. I tried searching through some pictures, some concept art, and some video, but I couldn't find where this was from, and I'm not sure that we actually know what this is yet, but just in case we do, and you know what it is, let us know in the comments. Or if you don't know and you want to take a guess, let us know in the comments what you think. So that is it for closing time. If you've missed the other two weapons shown, click on the videos here to check them out. My complete recap of everything that has happened in August will be coming out next Monday. So if you think you forgot something or you just want a refresher, stay tuned. Thanks everyone for watching, and I'll catch you next time.